the advanced auto parts keys for the Liberty Flames. Liberty's got to protect the paint. The strength for Radford is their inside game. Liberty's got to knock down threes. If they knock down threes, they could give Radford all sorts of problems on defense. Radford at home in the white. Liberty on the road in blue. And Kyle Oman with some quick hands to take it away for the Flames. A couple of different starters in the Radford lineup than normal. Eric Hall, Jamar Jenkins getting the call here starting the pair of seniors in the lineup along with normal senior starter Kenny Thomas. On. Jason, because you end up starting in the new lineup, this game is still important to Radford, even though they've won the regular season championship. You start two kids that are not used to starting. You know, you clearly want to get a good start in this game, but this may have confused their team a little bit because you got two different starters in the basketball. Quality start for Liberty on the road. Kyle Oman with his 86 three pointer of the season, and that's not the high on the team. Seth Curry's got 92, but this Liberty squad has set a school record for threes made and taken last year, and they look like they'll eclipse it again this season. Jenkins on the take for Radford. Parakowski with a rebound. Stick back won't go. And coming in for the board is Austin Smith. Both of these teams are a little bit different in terms of style of play. Liberty relies on the three-point shot. There's Anthony Smith taking one. Radford likes to get the ball inside to the two big guys. Amir Johnson controlling Thomas. So launch and land a three. Except for Kenny Thomas. Kenny Thomas had a monster game against VMI. Shot the heck out of the basketball when they played VMI, who also likes to shoot three-point shots. They're going to need Kenny Thomas to play well not only today, but when the conference tournament starts next week. Thomas well over 42% from three-point land on the season to lead the way for Radford. Off the scramble, picked up by Curry. He'll take it from deep, and that's short. Good defense by Kenny Thomas did not give Curry the uncontested three-point shot. Thomas again. Back iron. And Smith able to track it down for the Flames. We talked about different starters for Radford. One big starting change for Liberty. Jesse Sanders missing his third straight game with a right ankle sprain. Freshman point guard out of Texas has been a key contributor in orchestrating the offense for Liberty. So James Spencer, sophomore from Newport News, Virginia, put into the lineup to try to work the offense here for Richie McKay and couple. And losing Sanders is a big loss for them. Hopefully he'll be able to play in the conference tournament. Sanders has had a great freshman year for Richie McKay's team at Liberty. Radford winning nine in a row. Liberty had won four straight in conference play before losing the last two games badly. Thomas on the take off the window and down. Nice rebound by Perakowski. Even better cut by Thomas. Thomas saw the opening cut right to the basket. Liberty's got to do a better job of finding people in the offensive rebound. The two losses recently for Liberty at home to Old Dominion, excuse me, at Old Dominion in the bracket busters by 24, and then at home the other night to VMI by 37. Richie McKay said with or without Sanders, there is no excuse. They need to turn it up in this game. And Austin Smith checking in with a nice jumper. Well, you certainly want to go into your conference tournament playing well, so this is an opportunity for Liberty to do just that. They're on the home floor, the number one seed, and it'd be a great win for them going into the conference tournament. Jason Abbott, Greg Escher with you here on Mass, and glad to have you along for Big South Conference basketball. And Spencer gets the rebound of the Jenkins miss. I think Brad's trying to wait till the first TV timeout before he puts in his regular stuff. Now that's what college basketball is about right now. Here's the travel on the last sequence. Moved both pivot feet. Couldn't figure out which pivot foot he had. Good call by the official. On the inside, Perikowski the catch and the lane. Really nice set play. They swung the ball to Hall. That was a signal for Perikowski to go to the basket. Really nice pass from Eric Hall. The junior from Mintz, Belarus, transferred in from Southern Idaho, and what a factor, averaging a double-double all the year in points and rebounds. Perikowski's been doing nothing but staying in the middle of that lane. Liberty's got to do something to get him out of that lane. Smith really is not causing him problems, so Perikowski really has just stayed in that lane the entire first half so far on defense. Seth Curry. Draining the shot. His first two points of the game, averaging 20 and a half. Top scoring freshman in the nation. 
And he's in the top 25 among all Division I players as Eric Hall gets a nice moment here on Senior Day, hitting for the baseline. And Thomas tried to bail out his teammate. Got Kerr in the arm, and the four-point play is good. And that's the kind of thing, Jason, that it, it looks like it's just pure happenstance when they dribble towards a shooter like Curry, but that's something they work on every day in practice, that little hand off, that little ball screen. Curry with six of Liberty's 10 points, excuse me, 11 points at this juncture. Dumped down for Perikowski, but the pass by Philip Martin, who's just checked into the game, just a little too tall. Omen thought about it. Spencer in the paint gets it back to Curry. And his shot short. Strong, hard work and rebound on the inside. And the lay in by Austin Smith. Smith has been very effective both defensively and offensively. He's the one that's guarding Perikowski. And he did a really good job right there of picking up that loose ball. Radford's not even guarding Smith and Spencer, the two guys that literally just started in place of uh, Sanders and, and Burrow and Smith right now. They've they got to do a little bit better job of stepping out when those guys set strength. Seth Curry with quick hands. And Richie McKay telling us this morning it takes time to learn to play without him. Problem is, Liberty doesn't have a lot of time. Conference tournament starts Tuesday. And certainly not wanting to risk aggravating the injury before a game when it really counts for the Flames. So Sanders watching today, and they hope to have him back for the first round of the conference tournament Tuesday. And, and their two big guys, Perikowski and also Lynch Floor now, are just basically playing zone in the middle of the paint. Well, Smith comes out of the game, replaced by Tyler Baker, redshirt junior from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Joey Lynch Floor. Uh, same time, for the first time, normal starter back in the game. Again, coming off the bench in this one on senior day. Pull up. Curry can't get it to go, but Spencer with a nice weak side of rebound. Omen will try for three. Got it. Too much space for Omen and too much space for Curry on that last ball screen. Liberty's too good of an outside shooting team, too good of a three-point shooting team to give them that much space. 285 threes now on the season for Liberty. They average more than nine triples per game. That's seventh in the nation, of course. Smith and Tyler Bay.